Hello! So today I'm just going to be showing you how I got this look right here on my face, aka my everyday summer makeup routine. It's relatively light because during the summer it's hot and I don't want to put a bunch of makeup on my face, but I still want to look presentable. So if you feel like seeing how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep watching. So I'm going to start by prepping my skin with some sunscreen and primer. I'm going in with my Neutrogena Clear Face Sunscreen, which has an SPF of 55, because you got to protect that face, you know? Sun can be brutal, especially in the summer. And then just as usual, I'm going to prime my skin using the Benefit Professional. Then I'm just taking the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream, which I've actually only used a handful of times, but I do really enjoy it. It's really light and it reminds me of a moisturizer, but it still has pretty decent coverage, which I think is just perfect for the summertime. So I'll just work that in with my hands at first, and then I'll take this Wet n Wild brush to really buff the product into my skin. And then onto concealer, I'm taking the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer, which I have to say is a new favorite of mine, and I did kind of struggle to get it out of the tube on the first use, but once I did, oh my gosh, this is incredible. The coverage is amazing, the consistency is perfect, and I just love it. It's, I, ugh, I have nothing bad to say about it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna work that in with a Real Techniques contour brush to really pack that into my under eye area. And then I'm just gonna take a coffee break because it's necessary. And then onto my brows. As usual, I'm taking the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown to fill in my brows. This part of my routine never really changes. Sometimes I'll try and use like an angle brush in a powder, but just not the same. Why mess with a good thing? So then to set all the face makeup, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and I'm just using a Real Techniques Multitask Brush to do so. So just working that in and avoiding shine, and then going in with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Brown Bronzer. This is an old favorite that I got in an Ipsy bag long ago and I've just recently started using it again. It's truly one of the best bronzers out there in my personal opinion and it smells like chocolate. So, And then for blush, I'm just taking the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. This deserves all the hype it gets, that's for sure. I think it's perfect for summertime. It's just so beautiful. And then I'm just buffing that out so it's not too stark. And then for eyeshadow, I'm just going to use that same Too Faced bronzer all over the lid. Very little effort involved on this eyeshadow look, but what can you do? It works for me. Then using the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. This is a great one if you just want to add a little life to your natural lashes. I'm sure it lives up to its name if you really build it up, but I prefer just a light layer on these lazy summer days. And then just taking the Wet n Wild Coal Crayon in the shade Calling Your Buff to brighten up my waterline a little bit and just make me look more awake in general. And to set my brows, I'm using the Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara in the shade Blondie Brows. This is so dang good considering it's only $3. And then just to finish the look, I'm using the Jordana Easy Liner in the shade Rockin' Rose all over the lips. This may be a new all-time favorite of mine. It's kind of my perfect shade for every day. However, on this particular day, it did look a little too dark for what I was going for, so I just pat it down with a makeup wipe. And then to add a little moisture back, I just used the Baby Lips Lip Balm in the shade Grapevine. And that, my friends, is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! So I'll get my brush wet, dip it into whatever cleaner I'm using that day, and then just swirl it aggressively onto the egg. And this has these nice ridges, I don't know if you can tell, but it has these ridges that really, really clean your brush deep.